Could you talk about the DuPage County Collaborative uh, Employment Initiative? I'm happy to. Uh, the DuPage County Collaborative is a grassroots effort to make employment first for people with disabilities. That means establishing business partnerships between the school districts, uh, Ray Graham and Associates who we're in partnership with, and uh, potential employers. As you know, Paula, people with disabilities are twice as likely not to be employed or they are underemployed and that results in poverty, disenfranchisement, and lack of self-worth and we want to do something about that and that's what we've decided to do. You know, I mean, that is like a huge, I mean, a huge topic in the disability communi community mm -hmm. and, um, you know, recently it's actually come to light, I believe, uh, Governor Pat Quinn just signed the employment, uh, I apologize, the uh, employ employment uh, first for people with disabilities uh, mm -hmm. bill this right. week. So um, <clears throat> I would like to, I would like to ask you like, one of the things that I think concerns employers, since we're on this topic and it's usually an argument for uh, not hiring people with disabilities or not hiring anybody mm -hmm. for that matter, is the fact that employees are expensive. So um, when partnering with companies, how do you get them to look past stereotypes surrounding disabilities and take a chance? Mm -hmm. that, that is a very good question. And I think that's part of what our effort is trying to do, really address those stereotypes, but also really talk about the facts. And the facts are this, that people with disabilities are very capable, uh, very loyal to companies, their attendance rate is very good. So all of those skills then can translate into uh, the workforce. One of the things that we are trying to put into place, and for sure at the school districts is already there, we have job coaches. So employers can select students or select adults and, employ and coaches will go with them, learn the tasks, go through all of the routines that an uh, employee will have to perform and gradual release. And I think that is a great benefit for employers. Second of all, there is a tax incentive for employers who hire people uh, with disabilities. D people with disabilities are so capable and they have a variety of strengths. I think one of the best benefits in my view is that it actually increases the amount of diversity that employers can have. and can't have enough of that. No, I, I fully agree. Um, I mean, like, I mean, it's, aside from, like, you have great workers, you know, um, it's also, like, a teaching experience, I think, you know. Correct. Um, to kind of, like, get, uh, get rid of some of those stereotypes. Right. You know, like, beyond being a person with a disability, I'm a person. That's correct. You know, I want to make a living. I want to build mm -hmm. a life. You know, I pay taxes just like everybody else. Right. And our, our goal is to make employment first for people with disabilities. That should be the outcome right. upon graduation, whether it's uh, high school, uh, community college, four-year degree, whatever, employment should be first. Um, and then, of course, that adds to uh, the citizens of the United States. And if they're earning money, they're paying taxes, and that's, that's the American way. Yeah, exactly, the American way. Mm -hmm.